Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be a part of the UFC on ESPN Plus 15 card on August the 31st. It is Derek Krantz. Derek, man, I, I appreciate time. Of course, uh, getting into the UFC earlier this year. Uh, you know, what, what was that call like when uh, your manager gives you a call and say, hey, man, I've got a great opportunity for you? Um, it was a no brainer, you know, it it was an opportunity that presented itself and, uh, you know, I jumped on it. Uh, obviously things didn't go your way in that fight, but is there anything you take away from just that experience heading into this one? Um, you know, it, you know, I guess I, you could say I could, um, you know, going in there fighting in the UFC one time already, uh, you know, it, it made me realize that it is just another fight, you know, for, for a bigger organization, of course. But when that cage door locks, man, it's just me and another person and, and, you know, all other feelings aside, it's, it's, it's the same thing. It's business. Would you say this fight, would you view this fight as your UFC debut? Because, Hey, you've had, you know, full fight camp to get ready for it. Or is it like, no, nah, man, I've had, you know, I've gone through it all. It's, you know, this is, this is number two. Uh, you can say it, uh, say that. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really not looking, looking at it like that. I'm just looking at another fight, another opponent. I need to go out there and beat. In terms of the the way you view the fight game, is it is it like this? It's about me. You know, you understand what the opponent does, what he does well. But at the end of the day, this is about me and what I'm trying to implement inside the uh, fight night. Yes, yes. I got to go out there and I got to do what I, I, what I'm good at. You know, I got to make the fight my kind of fight and uh you know you know just show a lot of respect of course but go out there and do business get to work generally speaking when the fight starts what are you looking for out of your opponent uh i i guess you could say i i'm not much of a filling out kind of type i mean every now and then i do i guess it, it it's the type of person i'm fighting but uh i'm just i'm trying to go out there and, and implement my will go out there hit him hard hit him first uh you know and and then just take the fight where it goes is it one of those things you're is, is it kind of like that feeling out of like those first five ten seconds like okay let me see if this guy's just gonna come straight at me if he's gonna hang back a little bit is that kind of more about the what the feeling out's about yeah pretty much pretty much kind of i mean nowadays you you never know what, what what anybody's gonna do i mean just a couple of weeks ago we saw a dude just run out and fly and knee somebody so i mean it's you gotta expect the unexpected so it's always good to be cautious right off the bat has that ever come across your your thought process of like you know what screw it i'm just gonna run straight at him and i'm just gonna do a jumping flying knee no no it hasn't not yet anyways not yet now, after that happened, did you go in the gym and try to do it? No. No, I'd, I'd probably hurt myself trying that. <laughs> I mean, we saw it in the Contender Series this past week where, uh, you know, Ray was was down and, and he went for it. But, you know, that can be a risk-reward type thing. You know, how, yeah. how do you balance risk-reward in a fight where you know if it doesn't happen, you could find yourself in a bad position? Uh, you know, I would, I would say it really depends on where you're at in the fight. Uh, if I feel like I'm down two rounds or something, you better believe I'm going to, I'm going to come up with something. I'm going to throw everything at them. Uh, if I feel like I'm up, you know, I want, and maybe if I can pull off something pretty spectacular, if I, if I feel confident enough, I'll go out there and I'll try it. Is that more that confidence comes from just a training room of like, hey, I've been able to to land this so much in a training room that I, I just feel confident that I can get this to land on fight night? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And, and your opponent here, he's got a solid record, 14 and 5. Uh, but you, you do got to travel a long way for this for this fight. Um, yes, it's, is, it's new. How, how, how long is the uh, hour wise is it going to take you to get there? I want to say the the entire trip. I think it's twenty five hours. Yeah, what's it's a the, whole what's day. The, what's the longest flight you've been on previous to this? <laughs> Four hours. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm I'm uh, I'm going into uncharted territories right now. You know, everything's new, so I'm I'm excited and nervous at the same time. What's your thoughts on your opponent? Um, you know, I, I watched, you know, uh, some videos on him and, 
you know, he's a dangerous fighter. He's he's pretty exciting to watch. Honestly, he goes out there and he tries to bang and he's looking for the finish. Um, uh, he hits hard, obviously. He's got two knockouts in the UFC, but, you know, so far. So uh, I'm going out there um, respecting, you know, that he's a dangerous fighter, but, you know, we're, I'm going there to get paid to beat him up, so that's what I'm going to go do. Is there ever a concern of of showing your opponent too much respect? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I had uh, a fight like that years ago. I fought um, what's it, uh, Brock Larson, and um, you know, I would say probably the first two two and a half rounds, most of the fight, I was just kind of hesitant because you know he was a big name and. I just had a lot of respect for his takedowns and his power. And it, it kind of slowed me down until, you know, coaches were like, do you want to win this fight? Or, or the ref was like, I'm going to take a point. And, you know, after that, all, all that went away. And I went out there and took care of business. Was that kind of like it's time a go for broke type moment? Pretty much. I, I guess you could say that. Um I would say it was just, uh, just, just getting through that mental, that mental push. You know, there, there's like a mental block. Hey, this guy can hurt me or this guy can take me down. And then you're like, you know what? I'm going to fight. I don't care if he can hurt me or if he can, or, or if he can take me down, I'm just going to go out there. I'm going to fight and try to put him away. What do you think your key to victory is here? Ah, uh, man, I would say probably just uh good pressure, some, some strong punches. Uh, you know, guy's tough. He can take some good, good punches. So I think it's going to be like just, just a barrage of punches or, or man, if he gives me a submission, I'll take that too. It's, you know, it's really, it's really how it plays out in, in there. When you know you're going to get somebody that's tough, can take a punch, how much of the thought process becomes of, okay, going to the body's got to be a big part of my game plan to try to, to you know, wear, you, wear your opponent down a little bit? Yes, soften him up, of course, of course. You know, I, I actually watched, a, a, he lost a fight from a body shot, you know, probably a couple of years ago, but that kind of opened up my eyes. Well, I, I'll, I'll start working that body too. Are you a big film watcher? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I watch a lot of film. See, uh, some guys will say, "No, I let my coaches do that." I, I, but you're like, you're you're very much. Hey, I want to you know watch every fight I can. No, absolutely. Uh, sometimes you know you you can pick up their you know bad habits or their their uh, their telegraphs when you watch them fight. And you know if I watch them fight enough, I can I can kind of kind of envision me fighting them already. So when it comes to fight night, you know, his rhythm or his feints, you know, they're not, they're not too new to me. So that's why I do a lot of, you know, video watching. Do you watch a lot of your own video to look at your, what you consider your bad tendencies? Tendencies. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I watch, uh, so I usually watch my fights after, after them and I'll watch it a couple of times. And then, you know, I don't like watching myself fight. I really don't. I let my coaches do it. <laughs> I'd much rather watch other people fight. Is there is it is it because like you cringe about like maybe you, you like, oh, man, I had this opportunity, I missed out? Yeah, that and man, I just I don't know. I don't get excited watching myself fight. So I mean there's no point in me watching it. Uh, I, I, lo I love watching other people fight or, or some of my training partners, but when it comes to, you know, watching myself, it's, I, I, I'd much rather be in there fighting than, than watching me, myself fight. Is there a certain type of fighter that you just like to watch? Oh, there's a lot of fighters I like to watch. Um, uh, you know, pr pretty much any, any fighter that's, uh, that's, that's game that wants to fight, uh, like, uh, Dustin Poyer, love watching him fight. Um, uh, I like watching, uh, who is it, DC. He's always fun to fight or watch anyways. I don't want to fight that guy. <laughs> He's a, a big man. He's a little bigger yeah. than you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, th th there's so many, man. The, the UFC roster is so stacked with good talent nowadays. I mean, it's pretty much whenever you turn on the TV, you can you can find yourself or treat yourself to a good time. I mean, do you find yourself just like kind of like the the regular fan who's 
you know, sit on their couch on a Saturday night, like like this weekend's UFC 241. Like you, you, like you, you feel like you're a fan this weekend as opposed to, hey, I'm a UFC fighter. Oh, always, always. I'm always a fan and then a fighter. And, of course, we look forward to seeing this fight here coming up on August the 31st. Derek, man, as always, appreciate time. Have safe travels over there. Uh, let everyone know they can follow you on social media and, of course, those sponsors that are uh, helping out, man. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank all my sponsors, um, Rod, Corey, Five Star Builders, uh, the Perrys from Perry Hopetown Flooring, uh, Richard Trawick with uh, Patterson Dodge and, uh, you know, Randy Olson with War Tribe Gear. Uh, they've all been a big part of my journey. And, uh, you know, I also want to thank my uh, wife who's put up with me with all this grumpy cut white stuff and, you know, and, and the rest of my family.